Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me and my podcast, I'm Barry Robertson, for this very special bonus episode where I'm speaking with Kai Sakurai. Hi Kai. Hi. How um, are you today? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me and to tell me all about yourself and about your project. I'm so excited to share your project with everyone. So thank you very much for coming on. Oh, thank you very much for inviting me. Kai, before we talk about your project, can you tell everybody about yourself? I, I know you're from Glasgow, but for those that don't know you, tell us about yourself and the arts. Yes, I'm Kai, uh, Kai Sakurai, originally from Tokyo, uh, Japan, and I'm living in Glasgow uh, in yeah, for, for, uh, for 18 years now. And um, I am a percussive dancer and choreographer. And um, I'm working on a new dance project right now. Amazing. Can you tell us about the dance project? Yes, uh, my new dance project is called Bloom. And Bloom is a step dance show. Uh, with live music and live uh, and video projection. So every, everything they put into not only dance, not only music is uh, with video. And this is my uh, personal story, uh, dance to music and uh, inspired by Scottish tradition and, and, and with a video made by Monica Smekot. Oh, that sounds really nice, Kate. What inspired you to create Bloom? Um, so Bloom is like an album in my life in Scotland. Um, I have connected so many um, beautiful people in Scotland and I started to step dancing uh, actually since I moved to Scotland before I was doing Highland dancing uh, in Tokyo. <laughs> and I started to um, run community dance group um, started off with the Highland dance, um, teaching Highland dancing, and then coming to a uh, step dance, uh, I started step dance, and I made a community dance group and called Kilbin Grove Dancers. And also I started to create steps to particular tunes, especially original tunes written by um, the friends around me, the beautiful musicians friends around me, uh, and have a uh, lots of nice original tunes. So I started to dance with them. And then um so it became to uh, a little bit more choreographies. So this set lovely tunes and uh, to a set of dance to attach to it. And so it's coming to the choreographies. And then these old things are uh, inspired to create Bloom. So it's it's a solo show, but it's all the Kelvin Grove dancers, all the musicians, all the, you know, uh, the music and everything it's in bringing to, to the pro, uh, production. So it's very exciting. And also the, the video images that's really, really lovely that the amazing Monica input the uh, magical uh, things into the, the, the show. You were talking about music within the project. Can you tell me more about that and the live music that's been played? Yes, so the, the, my collaborators are, are doing the in already recorded, but I, I do play uh, Hammer Dalsmar in a show uh, in live. They be I do play fiddle as well, but Dalsmar sounds really similar to Japanese tra traditional instrument called koto and feel like right instrument to play and it's really lovely to play the Japanese songs with, with Dalsmar. That's lovely that you've got some traditional Japanese music within the production, Kai, because it's something different that we don't get to see here in Scotland. Am I right? Yes, definitely. Because they are, it's fast, fast thing is not many step dancers in Scotland. It's not much out. Um, and also the in within the traditional field, uh, some dancers are dancing on the stage in a, 
traditional type, you know, that concert type things, but not uh not going out much. So yeah, very very much. And also this it, it combinations of the uh, Scotland and Japan is <laughs> <It's> very rare. <laughs> It is rare. I don't think there's very much Japanese influence in Scottish theatre or dance at the moment. So mm. to have you on the show is is huge for me because it allows me to talk about different types of production that audiences don't necessarily get to see here in Scotland. And talk mm. about the project. How did the project start? Because it's a really interesting story coming from Japan, ending up in Scotland, doing dance, and then what was the inspiration to develop the performance? Uh, so during um, lockdown, so I started the first of all, I started um, dance with a step dance with the uh, music collaborators in live. But during the lockdown, all the music collaborators went to all over the places like London, back to Tokyo, England, and Denmark, and all lovely, you know, musicians went somewhere else. So um, I had to rethink what can I, what I can do right now in this moment, in this situation. So I was, I've been thinking about to make a film, step dance film. So I spoke with uh, Monica, and they we we kind of challenged to uh to do step dance uh, by placing it a playground, and and then the music was the lovely uh, my friend Japanese harp player Riko Matsuoka created the called Antagata Dokosa, and this is the uh, originally. Is the tune of Japanese children play song, and she created, inspired with the uh, another types of Japanese music and Scottish music. She she was a student of the Royal Conservatoire. She was, and so she created uh, variations of Scottish forms and his, you know. Um, like uh, Japanese, the uh, Hokkaido uh, North and uh, Okinawa and South, it's the different uh, forms using that. And um, it's really lovely music and it's really inspired me to dance to it. So I was a choreography um, for that and for that before starting films. And then Monica took me out to the playground to <laughs> let's find out something interesting and then using the this interesting things outside. So they ma made a lovely film with Monica. And then, so that was the premiere in Dance Live in 2021. And um so when we did this the film showing, um if you go to the film um the dance film especially going to dance film to watch it's like usually 60 minutes and three minutes to five minutes to, to film going on and on and on and on and it's like tired afterwards so i thought rather than inputting a lot of dance films i was in inputting a live dance and music in between the films for for the they're showing and then uh that went so well the audience really li liked to see the film dance film and the next thing next thing is dancer is dancing in front of you with the live music and then another film and so on so that was really well received and i thought that might be really good you know format to do that and then um i I said to Monica, can we develop that? Can we do again these kind of things? And uh, then Monica said, hmm, we can do more than that. I didn't know about we can do more than that, but she had uh, visual ideas came up, a lot of visual ideas. So that so we, st uh, we started um, to develop this idea and 
first thing we did is invited percussive dancer Omari Kata as a mentor. And he is a filmmaker as well. And so we had a connection through the filmmaking. And the, we had a, the weekend brainstorming and uh, we put lots of ideas and piece of paper and make uh, lots of talk, lots of showing what, what I'm doing. And Monica showed uh, the films. And, and so we kind of, at the end of the session, we made a pro program already like laid out. And so it's, and then he said, title, what is your title? <laughs> okay, I was thinking about title and then came up for the, the end of the second day was a bloom. So I said, let's do bloom just now. I know <laughs> we might change it, but th that was the starting point. And then we had, um, we received the residency from the workroom uh, the workroom is the professional dance um, membership organization uh, in Glasgow based, but support to all the, uh, uh, mainly the contemporary uh, dancers, but um, they're really, really supportive to the freelance uh, dance artists. And we received the dance, uh, uh, we received the workroom residency um last year and and we did the showing and then we are after the showing we were invited to Italy um to do another residency and another showing and in, uh, in actually in June so i was like, oh, in Italy, I never been been uh, the touring in internationally. So the first time I was invited, so we went to the uh, the venue. There was a mountain. It's a very north of mountain. It's called a uh, Piatta, and it's in the mountain, and the it's a performance. At, it's called Rami Dola. It, uh, contemporary dance festival festival in Italy, and so we went to uh, the venue and we had a house, white house, a traditional white house, to project for the Monica projection, and there there was a big, lovely wooden a wooden stage in front of it, and so I was practicing before Monica arrived. And then Monica arrived and on Sunday, she said to took out her projector and she said, mm -mm, doesn't work because it's too far away from the, because of the stage, she cannot go into the, um, close to the, to the wall, to the, to project the house. So she said, no, we cannot do that in this. And like, we had to. And we we had to talk to director um, and staff in, in in the festival and and then after the, some discussions, Monica said, "Right, it's our showing is in three days. <laughs> we need to <laughs> we need to uh, think something um, else. So we let's walk around this." site and find something to uh, to do to do, make a stage from the the venue basically we made uh, we found a lot of wooden board so we put up the wooden board like this and make a like a screen and we and and the Monica found a locks and behind of the 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 venue. So she said. So we made a like a the board like this, and I was dancing in front of that, and then going turn around, and then it's a lock. So so she did a, a the video projection to the wall to the wooden board in a natural wooden board and and the back of the rocks. So. 
and then the the weather wasn't nice to us so the rain started and so we i wasn't sure about it because they were using the microphone using you know using the projector so it's like ooh but how can we do so i the day before we did rehearsal we had a small rain and i knew that next day is the was that weather forecast was was so i thought i i should do pulsing to get through it to get confidence <laughs> for this uh, situation so i did dance and um i found really difficult because it's dark so you cannot see where where is the boards are <laughs> and and stuff like that so um we had to we tweak of the we small right like a christmas a decoration light on through the so the walking space and and then uh so we we did the showing um and started raining at the when we started start raining oh okay i'll just <laughs> go for it and and then um it's getting so it was getting worse and the last scene was i am playing a uh, sakura the japanese song sakura cherry blossom at the end of the show uh, with dalsimar the actually the rain started hitting the strings ping on bang <laughs> you know like <laughs> I was like oh that is really bad it's it, oh, this it's really not working and it's i was uh, looking up um and to and then the director was bring was like looking at me with a big umbrella <laughs> and i was like mm -hmm. <laughs> so he came to me to the umbrella uh, to the dalsima not me <laughs> to the dosima and to finishing of the playing the the uh the end of the songs and it was like and then like okay but that they turned out i mean and i really appreciated the audience they were they were um watching in the rain as well so but they said um the show was magical and they so that was really really lovely and experience in in italy that sounds amazing kai it, it sounds as though dancing in the rain was a success <laughs> <laughs> I, I never thought about it I, I, only my my concern is to to get to right point don't sleep and <laughs> very slippery <laughs> and then on a the it's really like a wooden boat soaking the rain and the sounds different and you know like kind of squishy sound in the middle it's all different so i was like get through without something really with a disaster you know what i mean so what's the future of the project where are you at now so the, this makes us confidence to go out to do some more um uh, shows and we want to uh we want to do the touring in Scotland and beyond so uh but that we have now is a set it's very much DIY things set made a set with DIY and also the the projection is also DIY. So the Monica is doing doing to the site to the project and she is adjusting everything and she she needs to adjust the video to to frame correctly. So it takes a day to, you know, take a day or two. So we are currently doing a crowdfunding to to finish in the project finishing the touch of the project. That's amazing, guys. So tell us about the crowdfunding and what are you looking to raise from it? Yes, yeah, so we are currently looking to raise for four four £4,000 to develop the show that, uh, that I just said. And this amount would allow us to 
redesign the set and the pay materials and construction and so we can make it portable and so easy to take out you know like take out and then compact it put in and then go next place and because this is not a huge production so it's going to be very small numbers of people to carry everything that i need i need the the dance board they need the uh instruments and um and, and all the the equipment of the microphone and you know that kind of stuff as well as the set so the compact is the key uh to to do it so that is the one thing and the other thing that what i said was the video and so it is more i don't know about it but the uh, programming called the qrab it's a very good um software and the monica wants to uh, bring someone uh, professional about it to to do programming in the site very quickly. So that is aiming for. So uh, it's a live uh, production and then hopefully you'll be touring it after it once you've raised the £4,000 through yes. a crowdfunder. Uh, yes. I love a crowdfunder and um, I suppose one of the reasons why we're talking today, I, I backed it as well, but can for anybody that doesn't know about crowdfunder, what are the rewards available when you support someone in crowdfunder? So what kind of rewards can you get from from yourself yes. for Back in Bloom? So uh, first of all, the uh, the invitation to uh, to the showings that they wanted to invite the to people to to see the shows and and official supporters put um, the, your name uh, included on a website and a program. We have um, the online dance classes, um, six weeks online dance classes. The, uh, I've been running for uh, since lockdown, so this is the ongoing, and that, that, that is most selling <laughs> device at the moment. And then, then we have a sushi making with me, uh, the uh, pledge, and also we have a house concert by me and my friend. And I've tasted the sushi, and I'm telling you right now, the sushi making class will be the best out of them all, only because I've tasted the food and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's fun. It's fun. It's not not too difficult if you know how to do it and mm. so that's um I'll, I will show you from um how to actually uh, make rice you know that is a very key thing to to uh, make rice consistency right you know like how much they how much the uh, the water and how much preparation for that so the, not i uh, usually uh, usual co consistent of the the water, so it's less water. Thing, it's a tiny things, but it's add up to making a really lovely sushi rice to start off with, and then we have uh, how to make a roll, and and it's fun. <laughs> you can do anything you like actually in the middle, but I usually use the uh, smoked salmon mm -hmm. and the cucumber and avocado. That is the the very basic uh, rolled sushi for me and in Scotland because everything is easy, easily to get the ingredients here. Yeah, I was looking on the crowdfunder and uh, you can get that for £50 a session and there's only 10 available. So if you fancy a cooking session with Kai uh, for sushi making, then that's the one to go for. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the important question is, when does the crowdfunding end, Kai? Yes, crowdfunding ends 31st of October, 5pm. Okay. Oh my God, it's <laughs> only 11 days. Oh, Yes, 31st of October. And uh, where can people find out more about the crowdfund? Okay, you you need to help me this. Yeah. Uh, this is from um, a website, crowdfunder.com 
dot go dot uk forward slash bloom dash three. Yeah. That's the crowd fund funders website. You have um you can see more information about the bloom from my website, which is artsandaccounts.com forward slash bloom. Thank you, Kai. And so I have that... a Facebook page as well, but I think I will ask your help. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Maybe we just give a link. <laughs> Thank you, Kai. Uh, so that's crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash bloom dash three. I'll put the information uh, down below in the podcast. Uh, now, Thank you very much for coming on the show, Kai. I'm really appreciative of you being here and tell us about the production. And hopefully we can chat again after the show. Oh, that would be lovely. Thank you, buddy. Thank that you. That was really a lovely time. Thank you so much.